speakers tonight who supported our motion and indeed uh, came and gave the time here as well. And disappointment has been expressed by so many who didn't come. But look, uh, agriculture is our primary uh, product uh, here, and we must mind it. I want to say I learned an awful lot during the uh, time of the, uh, the protest, and it wasn't the blockade, speaking for care, uh, where I was a lot of the time. And I want to thank people like Bob Wilkinson, a man in his 80s, young Daniel Long, and the Alison Beer Hunt who travelled to Dublin for the talks, and weren't, weren't treated that nicely uh, in, the, in your department, as I said that to you before. I want also to want to thank Superintendent Dennis Whelan in care, and the Gardaí in care Garda station, and indeed, the, the, the workers, they went in and out to the factory. They were so uh, uh, peaceful and so uh, respecting what was going on. And the many of them that brought food to feed the, feed the, uh, the farmers and the families. The many companies that brought food. The many women that baked scones and apple tarts and cream. And the whole joyous um, um, kind of impact that was there. The weather was great. It went on too long. It shouldn't have. We shouldn't have had to have been there because this crisis has been coming on and you slept walk into the minister. We were out there in the programme for government after getting the mandate to go and talk to you and you, we agreed to put in uh, producer organisations back at that time in your programme for government. You did nothing about it. You were warned about it, but as Deputy Hilly Rain others have said, this is a Dublin centric government. Your teacher, who should be, sit should be sitting in that chair there now, should be said that we must eat less beef. Such a man to be heading out of our country and we talk about his interests now. And Deputy Hilly, Hilly Ray was right to say that and point it out. But time after time and time again you were told and warned. And I have a few questions to, to ask you, to, you too, Minister. And one is that in recent days, when we were all last week working very hard, my two colleagues here and others, to try and get the, the, the gates opened and the cattle going in. I want to ask, there was rumours and, and rumours that, that MII had a meeting with Minister Flanagan, Minister Justice, to get the gas to move away the rest of the people. We were negotiating and I acknowledge you took a phone call from one of the Hillary brothers on Saturday or, or Friday to try and get a Saturday to try and get Brandon stood down and I accept that. But you didn't take phone calls from me, our texts all through the very start of it, you ignored it, you were hoping to go away. You were on your holidays and you wanted to stay on your holidays. But as far as I'm concerned, you can be in holidays every day because you're the most useless, toothless and fruitless government that ever sat in this chamber. And you have no respect for rural Ireland. You have no respect for Nadina, Nadina Bioga. You have no respect for any of the organisations either. And some of them are too cosy to you. That's what I say to you. So we had the beef plan and they brought you to, 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 to where they brought you. you the, the MII then wouldn't put an injunction on them. So they had to go to the ground. Then you kept telling us we had no one to talk to. Independent farmers of Ireland came forward and they sent people to talk. And thankfully, we are where we are. You cobbled up an agreement. It's a tough sock. Ma. It's a good start, certainly. We have to work to it. But we, I want independent. And Minister, your junior minister earlier said that all the stakeholders, all the usual suspects are going to be put onto this uh, uh, task force. I don't want all the stakeholders. They can meet you every day of the week. Board B, uh, uh, Chagas, department officials. This should be about MII with a truly independent chairperson. Someone like Kieran Mulvey, someone that's independent, he doesn't have to know agriculture, the less he knows about it, the better. They can see he's not a fool, it won't be fooled, or they won't be fooled, or they won't put over their eyes. And we have to have an independent, and we have to have the farming groups, and we have to have Veterinary Island, obviously, and we have to have Standard Symphony and add MII. And not the threatening. It's shameful to say that Mr. Healy, from my own county, was out there bully by tactics and talking up the st and sensing farmers what, it, what he was doing. When I saw the farmers and the workers saluting each other and giving tea and whatever else, and I wanted to sympathise with the workers who lost their jobs or temporarily laid off, they shouldn't have been. Because I'm an employer, as Deputy Healy Ways and Deputy Collins and many more, and we'd keep our workers for a few weeks, certainly, if we hadn't a job or whatever. Where's the good, the good faith? And where's the good will? And I have a couple of questions too, Minister, when he comes back down, because I brought this before. I was there days, and I saw a lorry arrive, a 40 foot container, and he stopped. And I saw a bit arriving to plead with the lads, let him in. He was coming to inspect it. He told us, just Polish beef. Sorry, yeah, Polish beef going in. He told us that. They went away and left. And I fast forward then to three weeks later, a lot, another lorry came and told us it was a load of, 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 of pork. And that lorry was followed because the danger of bringing in pork from Poland, which was going on out there with the, with the, with the swine, the swine flu and other infections, it is devastating if that happened. And the lorry was followed, yes, certainly, because everyone at the gates were cameraed, filmed all day and all night by powerful cameras, and that wasn't good enough, some of the lads came out in the factory to intimidate them, made videos of them, and we're all told we're on video. That lorry was followed. I know where it went and came back and said it went to the wrong factory. So I want the minister to investigate those issues. That is unbelievable damage and reckless. So we don't know what's going into the media. 
We don't know what's going to the meat. And one thing has happened out of this, Count Cola and, and, and colleagues. The public have got a greater understanding of how the farmer is being backyarded. When the facts were put up on the posters that only 2.6% of, of the tenor goes to the farmer, and uh, no talk of the, and, and what else goes to the retailers and the factories. Where's the fifth quarter going? And I said, oh, Seamus May, in the fabulous investigation he has done on the fifth quarter, and the profits that are there are staggering. But your minister, your government, allowed a certain mogul in the industry to take control of the offal only a couple of years ago. So now every bit of offal is, is controlled by the, a big beef baron, and nobody can go anywhere with anything else. And he can, when individual people, plants were making deals because they wanted to get going and wanted to uh, fill their, fulfill their contracts, and we all did. Oh, he, heavy handed, the law came in again. Not the law, but the mogul's rule. The biggest beef baron in the country, you all know who I'm talking about, said no. You can't bring your offal in here, you can go and dump it wherever you like. So we've allowed this cop on. The competition authority are not absolute disgrace. They've done nothing uh, here. And to come out and tell the farmers they couldn't negotiate price. What are they meant to be? If I was running a business up a Borheen in the side of the mountain and I was doing something unfair competition, they'd find me and close me down and cost me more. But they won't touch these people because there's too much money involved, too much big business, too much friends growing up. And I have to say as well, I do believe that IFA have given you an easy ride here over the last nine, uh, seven, eight years. Of course they have. Because they're most of my year members, and then it all ended up, and fair juice to beef, uh, beef, uh, uh, beef industry, Ireland, and fair juice to the independent farmers. Things have changed and they'll never be the same because the genie is out of the bottle and people know what's going on and they know the way the farmers been like that and when the animal goes up in the trailer, they tend to, as David Healy Ray said, when the animals, if the bull are inseminated, they nurture the little calves and they walk along the whole way and look after it. And we're being accused of all kinds of bad practices. They look after, they respect their animals, they respect their land, they respect their families. All they want is a fair price for their work. Not capitalist reforms, not uh, money being creamed off elsewhere, and black adding that's going on, and even in care and fairness. And I'm calling you now, Minister, well, to insist that the factories reopen. Because care, everything was allowed in there by the protesters. Everything uh, except cattle or meat. And cattle were allowed in for the Chinese visit. The Chinese were allowed in, of course they were, to be reckless otherwise and meat was allowed out when it had to go out. So, and all the maintenance crews were allowed in to, to keep that factory ready in pristine condition. And now we're being told, oh, it'll take up the weeks in some places to start killing again. That is blackguarding. The blackguarding has to stop. The power must be given back to the producer. And what are we here for? We'll wipe out rural Ireland. It's been said already, but all the different things have been taken away from us. We lose the beef farmer and the beef producers. They spend every penny in the rural economy, in the schools, in the shops, in the GA clubs, in the whole lot. And they're actually called the Kayla. What are we trying to do under your government? You're an absolute disgrace, the way you've treated everyone else. Any small person is in the way. It's the big supermarkets. It's Larry Goodman and company, and the rest of them. And to help it, the Nina Bjorka, you don't want them at all. So go back to your roots. You'll be going back soon enough looking for votes, and you'll find out the hard way. And I want to thank, as I said, uh, the Gardaí and everybody who helped in care to keep peace and keep uh, normal uh, trading going and work. But the works were toughed out then, and we were on the cusp of a, of a settlement last Monday night week in care. It didn't happen, it should have happened. We were definitely on the cusp of it on Wednesday night when most of the farmers who wanted to stand down walked away. And a group stayed on and looked, that was their prerogative. But the factory knew on Thursday that this was going to be settled on, 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 on Friday. What did they do? Announced another 100 job losses on Friday morning. Such contempt, such waving and teasing and mocking the protesters. They have had a monopoly with 35 years and they got away with it. St. Charlie High bailed them out and left them do it. But he at least made beef deals and exports with the personals outside in Libya. He did something for the country. He did the state some service, but he did nothing at all. You've watched it being destroyed. You've watched rural Ireland being decimated. You've watched the farmers being driven to this protest this week. And for several weeks, you wouldn't even engage, Minister. You would not engage. And then when you did engage, the first, the first time, you had MII dictating what had happened. Who could be in the room? They'd be there under such conditions. It's time the mask was taken off MII and taken off them, and they respect the producers. And to say this to the workers, and many of them are in idea of what happened, and in idea of me, some of them too, and I respect that totally, and tightly me. I was in the middle. I saying that uh, if we have the producers, their workers won't be kept in the factories. That's what we don't see at all in this picture. So it's time that RTE, RT and I saw them last night in a wonderful expose on what happened to the atrocious event in Cavan. It's time that an expose in, and the media in what's going on with the cartels in the beef business. It's beyond time, but it won't happen. 
Because I won't have the multiples either because when we open the Sunday papers, we see pages and pages of adverts, money talks. But it's time that you answer the questions, our Minister, about the beef uh, from Poland and about what's all together, the pork from Poland, if it came into care and why did it come into care and what's happening. And we get respect. And we don't want to stay a task force with all the usual suspects in take up places and eat their dinner and take up time. We want the producers, we want the farm families, we want the organisations, and we want MII with an independent uh, uh, regulator. We'll have teeth and we'll have power and we'll gain respect. You, respect has to be earned, and he'll get it if he, earn, he or she earns it, but not what you said the last time you were the former uh, Secretary General of the Department. How could he be independent? I don't mind the man at all, but he's not independent. We want independence here. We'll be calling it and masking you here day in, day out, us in the rural independence, to ensure that this task force is meaningful. Right. This task force has respect and has teeth, not fobbed off. The fobbing off is over, Minister, and you'll find out that very soon too. Right. Thank you very much.